Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? This is Aaron. I want to talk about um, the whole phrase uh, that I'm sure a lot of us, a lot of us feel or hear a lot is the you don't look sick. Um, so how can you be sick when you look not sick, when you look fine, you look like a normal person? And uh, I've gotten that a lot from, you know, because it's true. I, I, I don't look sick other than other than maybe if someone knew me before, they would look at my face and my eyes and they would just see a lot of the exhaustion. Um, I mean, I can see it. It's, it's uh, you know, that passion, that, that sparkle in my eye, that uh, exhaustion kind of takes over my whole face and body. Uh, how I walk, how my posture, you know. But in terms of just in general, someone who doesn't know me, um, I don't, I don't look like I'm a, I don't look sick, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of you don't look sick either from the outside and you get that. And I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit. Um, I've gotten this from people, uh, from friends, uh, just from normal people. I've gotten it from doctors, which I think is the most unprofessional thing one could do. And in my experience, when I've heard it from doctors, it's kind of coming from a complimentary standpoint, at least from their perspective. They think it's a compliment, like they're trying to be like, oh, you look, well, you, you look good. You know, I mean, like you look, or if I haven't seen a doctor in a while, I'll be like, you look good. I, you look good is similar to you don't look sick in a lot of ways. It's sort of like, yeah, you know, you look, you look good. So what's up? How can I help you? Because you look fine. So, it, you know, if you've been ill for years, we get triggered by little things like that. You know, like, you look great. You know, it's like, what do you say? Thanks. Okay, and I'm here because I feel horrible. So it's like, thank you, question mark. Like, I guess that's good. I feel, I guess it's good. I look not like I'm going to die tomorrow. You know, like, I'm not bald. I don't look like a cancer patient. I don't have a big port out of my chest. Um... You know what makes someone look sick? They they have hives, like you know they're they have um, an oxygen machine, which I wish I could get, um, but I don't qualify for it because that would oxygen is really really helpful. But you know if so if you see someone with a, with a um, not a not a what's it called Calen, calendula anyway the oxygen things up the nose, that person looks sick, right? People are like that's a sick person, right? <laughs> but if you're like most of us. We don't have any of those things, right? We just feel internally in our digestive system, in our nervous system, in our brain is messed up. So all these things that are invisible, I mean, that's why, like, you know, call it Lyme, call it viruses, call it whatever the heck you want. I mean, a lot of us are walking around with invisible illnesses, invisible suffering. It's not visible. And... Um, you know, as I'm speaking to you now, I feel I feel wretched. Um, uh, but no one would know if they saw me. Um, they don't know what what it's like to be in my body. They don't know what it's like to to uh, have my digestion that's all a wreck. They don't know what it's like to not having you know slept more than like two three hours the last couple of nights. They don't they don't know, and and you can't really tell. Um, so I just wanted to make this video. I don't really have an agenda. Um, other than I completely understand um, what it's like to, to be told that and how it feels to be told that, um, it, it, it really depends on who's saying it, how they're saying it, what the subcontext is of, of what they're saying it, what, they, what their desired result is. Uh, you know, it's complicated. Um, but, but just the, the, matter, the fact of the matter is that I would say 90% of us, 95% of us, well, maybe 10% of people have uh, a port, so they do, you know, IV, IV drugs, IV stuff. Most of us don't. So it, it's, it's, it, it would almost be more socially, you know, it's tough because like, would you rather look sick? So then everyone kind of expected you to, I don't know how to phrase this, people would, don't expect people's expectations of you are less, you know what I mean? Uh, like, if you look like you have a, you know, a, if you're bald and you look like you're a cancer patient, just as a really dumb example, people are going, going to, people aren't going to expect the same level of, um, I don't know, 
energy or mental concentration or, uh, you know, anything, right? But for us, and a lot of people watching this, we feel as if we probably did a round of chemo, you know, our, our entire body is wrecked. Like, I don't have to explain all the symptoms to you. I mean, your body's wrecked. Your brain doesn't work. Can't form thoughts. You're throwing up, right? You have nervous system, you have pain all over your body, you have fibromyalgia symptoms all over. Not sleeping. Depressed. Anxious. I mean, the list can go on and on. I mean, heart, heart palpitations, breathing problems, gasping for air. All these things... Other than if you're getting seizures in public, I mean, all these things are are invisible, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to I just wanted to just make a quick video about that and just let you know that uh, it is something that all of us get, and I've heard some really horrible stories, um, often from uh, mental health professionals like psychiatrists. And I've had this happen to me too. I go in there, I explain my symptoms, I tell them everything, I tell them my diagnoses. And this is like supposedly one of the most brilliant psychiatrists in all of Orange County. He's like, um, okay, he, his prescription for me was, okay, go ahead and get more sunlight and um, take an antidepressant. And then he left and that was that was it. You know, it was... It was really uh, insulting and I've got I've, I've had gotten that a lot um, pain doctors are like uh, you know you really you know this may be all in your head you know that kind of shit and anyway I'm getting kind of uh, I'm losing my train of thought guys so anyway I just want to make this quick video um, let you know that you're not alone when you hear that kind of stuff and let you know that you're not alone when when your when your symptoms are invisible to the outside world when only you which is, feels very isolating and, and very alone, only you know exactly how it feels to be going through what you're going through. Um, you know, only you can articulate or not articulate exactly your internal state, your internal situation, your, you know, all the symptoms going on. No one can, and often tests don't, you can't even do like a test to show it. It's just it's just what's going on inside your body, you know, and it's, it's very isolating. It's very alone. It's very frustrating. It's very helpless, hopeless. So I get it, man. I get, I get everything. Um, I really do. So feel free to reach out to me if you have, if you want to chat. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Talk to you later guys. Bye-bye.